with that, I'll turn things over to our first lightning talk speaker, Leslie Dewan. Thanks. So much, Pear, and thank you all so much for having me here and for including these lightning talks as well. It's, it's wonderful being part of the conversation here today. So as for my background, I have a PhD in nuclear engineering from MIT with a research focus on nuclear materials. And uh, during grad school, I was supported by the Department of Energy's Computational Science Graduate Fellowship. And I'm extremely, extremely grateful to the DOE for establishing that program and, and supporting that work. So as for my work, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Transatomic Power. We're a nuclear reactor design startup based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. We're developing a type of molten salt reactor that can consume both low enriched fresh uranium fuel and uh, existing stockpiles of used nuclear fuel. And so this technology is actually based on work that was first done at the Oak Ridge National Lab back in the 1960s. So it's another way in which I'm extremely, extremely grateful to the DOE. Um, so we were able to adapt that design, use a slightly different moderator material and core geometry to allow it to consume used nuclear fuel and also have a much higher power density than was possible back in the 1960s. Um, so I started the company with my co-founder, Mark Massey, when we were midway through grad school at MIT. We raised venture funding from Peter Thiel's Founders Fund, among others, um, including Art Sandberg and Ray Rothrock as well. And we've started experimental tests of key parts of the design right now. So fundamentally, we we want to view nuclear waste as a resource to be tapped, as a power source for the future. Um, so right now, it's, it's a staggering amount of energy that's actually left in this waste. So if you take all of the world's used nuclear fuel and put it into waste burning reactors, you're actually able to produce enough electricity to power the entire world for about 70 years, even taking into account increasing electricity demand. So fundamentally, it's a valuable material. <coughs> I, I became a nuclear engineer in the first place because I'm an environmentalist. I think that we need nuclear power alongside solar and wind and hydro and geothermal if we want to safely and sustainably produce carbon-free electricity worldwide. And one of the most gratifying things for me actually recently is that I think more and more environmentalists are starting to support this view as well. And they, and they want advanced nuclear reactors and nuclear power in general as a key part of a carbon-free energy portfolio. And for me personally, um, even National Geographic is supporting my work through its Emerging Explorers program. And I'll be speaking with them in Paris in a few weeks during the lead up to COP21. So, Transatomic is one of many advanced reactor designs that are currently being developed in this country. So there are actually uh, 43 advanced reactor design groups in North America right now that have collectively raised about $1.3 billion in private capital. And things are, things are moving very quickly. And for me, that makes it a, um, a really exhilarating time to be in the industry. I spent some time thinking of the right, or the right adjective there, but I think exhilarating captures it really well. Um, and talking with other young, young nuclear engineers, there's, there's a sense of urgency and also a sense of excitement at the same time. We're collectively working on a huge problem, the problem of producing scalable, carbon-free, low-cost electric power. And together, we have the opportunity to do a tremendous amount of good in the world. So thank you all so much. And I'm really looking forward to the next sessions today. <laughs>